This dude is the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, and he mentioned this year that AI is overhyped and unimportant, which is ironic considering that every picture of him looks like it was generated by AI. But nevertheless, this inexpensive app for Final Cut is one reason why this guy is wrong. It's called Picture This, and I foresee it being immensely useful for those who create documentaries, content on YouTube and other social media platforms, corporate videos, and honestly, just anyone who needs copyright free images of whatever their mind can conjure for their projects. For example, in Final Cut, I went through the necessary steps, which I'll go over in a second, to create an image of Mr. Munger by the fireplace next to an AI robot, and it did a fairly impressive job. Let me show you a more practical example, though. I wanna first point out that I have no affiliation with this app or the company. I'm not making any money to say this. I just think this is very, very cool. So as a very random example, let's say right here I'm talking about African tribalism and perhaps I need some type of stock photo over top to hide this cut that shows something related to the topic that I'm talking about. So the way you go about using this feature is by creating markers and specifically to-do markers. So you'll press M to create a marker. You'll double click and switch to this middle option here, which is your to-do marker. This is essentially where you'll type in the prompt for whatever you would like the AI to generate. So for example, I wrote middle-aged African man in tribal clothing playing leather drum on grassy hill with sunset in the background. So if you'd like, you can finish your entire project and make these different markers. And at the very end of your project, start creating the B-roll photos, or you can go one by one. So for this example, we're just gonna create the photos for this particular prompt right now. So let's hit done. I'm gonna hit command space to bring up spotlight and just type in picture this. Now I'm using my M1 MacBook Pro connected to my computer monitor at the moment. And for some reason, when I do that, certain windows don't pop up. And so for me, at least, I have to just minimize this a little bit and that'll bring up the picture this window. And all you do is drag the project to this window here if you have multiple to-do markers, you can then go in and deselect some. So maybe you have one that was not supposed to be a prompt. You can then deselect that. You also have the option to create multiple images, but remember the more images you create, the longer it's gonna take. And same with this image quality. If you choose better, it's gonna take a lot longer. So just for this example, let's do three images at a faster rate and just click start. Now it's not particularly fast. For example, that took four minutes and 22 seconds for those three images, but you're getting free, copyright free images. So it's a fair price to pay, I think. So an open library window will pop up and you'll go ahead and select the library that that project is in. And just for reference, this is not a porno. I am color grading a music video. <laughs> just thought I would make note of that. So then you'll choose that library. It imports an XML and creates a new event with those three photos. Now it also creates a new project and what that project has in it is one of the photos over top in an audition. So if you would like, you could either hop into the audition and swing back and forth to the different pictures by scrolling left and right by using your left and right arrow keys. And that's gonna determine which photo shows up. You can course have this over top to make it easier to see what's going on or you don't even have to enter the audition you could press control option and left or right arrow with the clip selected to swing through all your different options here but i actually much prefer to stay in the original project and just choose which photo i want in the event now you may notice that these guys look a little weird and that's because the quality of your prompts will determine the quality of the photos that are created. This is an important point to remember. If you learn how to create quality prompts like the ones you're seeing now, you'll be able to create some truly amazing looking B-roll photos for your projects. What do you think of this app? I'm curious to know. And if you're interested to see some other AI tools to help you as a video creator, click this video right here and have a great rest of your day.